Hello! Hello friends, this is Ladida. I'm an IIT engineer. So I'm here to teach you Max. So are you excited to learn Max from me? So let us start. So friends, we'll start with chapter 5, Arithmetic Progression. In nature, we have we find many patterns, isn't it? Petals of sunflower, holes in the honeycomb, or spirals of pineapple, and many many patterns. So in this chapter, we are going to look patterns with numbers. So let's write some patterns, okay? First one. One, two, three, four, Second one. Third one. Fourth one. And fifth one. In this list of numbers, you find certain patterns, isn't it? So, first one. One, two, three, four. So, we can predict the next number because they follow a rule or a pattern. So, next number will be 5 because each term. So, first I'll explain what is a term. So, guys, each of the numbers in this list is a term. So, this is a, this is a first term and this is second term, third term, fourth term, etc. Similarly, the second example, this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. Third example, first term, second term, third term, fourth term. Similarly, fourth and fifth example, you can find the terms. So, term is nothing but each of the numbers in the list is known as the term. So, here we find each term is added by 1 to get 1 with the preceding number to get the next term. So, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 plus 1 is 4. So, we can predict the next number will be 5. And in the second example, it also follow a pattern that is each term is multiplied by 2. So, 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 2, 8. 8 into 2, 16. And 16 into 2 will be the next number, 32. And the third example is we are subtracting 10 from the preceding term. So, 100 minus 10 is 90. 90 minus 10 is 80. 80 minus 10 is 70. And 70 minus 10 will be 60. That will be the next term. And in the fourth example, 1, 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. So, each term is added by 2 to get the next term. And fifth example, 1, 4, 9, 16. That is, this is 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square and next term will be 5 square that is 25. So, in these examples, we find that these follow some patterns. In some, we find that the succeeding terms are obtained by adding a fixed number or by subtracting a fixed number and in some cases, they are by multiplying with a fixed number and in other cases, they are squares of the consecutive numbers. So, in this chapter, we will be dealing with these three. One, three, four. That is, they are added or subtracted by a fixed number to get the succeeding number. So, guys, in these examples, each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term. 
So such progressions are called arithmetic progression. So we can see that arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in which each term is obtained by adding a fixed number to the preceding term to get the next term. Nothing but we are adding a fixed number. We are adding a fixed number. In this case, the fixed number is plus 1. And in this case, the fixed number is minus 10. And in this case, the fixed number is plus 2. So, arithmetic progression is a list of numbers in each term except the first term is obtained by adding a fixed number with the preceding term. Got it? And this fixed number is called common difference. So, this fixed number is called the common difference of the AP which can be positive, negative or it can be even zero. That is, if you write, then this is also an AP with common difference zero. So, if you write the first term as A1, second term as A2, third term as A3, etc. up to and the nth term is an. We can say this is an AP if A2 minus A1 is equal to A3 minus A2 is equal to A4 minus A3. Which will be equal to the common difference D. That is. The difference between the consecutive term is constant which is denoted by D. So let us denote first term as A. So our A1 is A and common difference is D. So common difference is D. So what will be the second term? A2 will be first term plus common difference. So, what will be A3? What will be the third term? A plus B. That is second term plus common difference. That is equal to A plus 2D. Now, what will be the fourth term? Third term plus common difference. That is a plus 2d plus d that is equal to a plus 3d. From here you can see that the second term is a plus 1d and third term is a plus 2d and fourth term is a plus 3d. So what will be the nth term? Nth term will be a plus n minus 1 into d. So, this is the general term of an AP. Nth term will be a plus n minus 1 into d. That is 1. If it is nth term means this is n minus 1. Okay. okay. So, see you in the next class. Till then, goodbye.